So you have everything happening at sea. I mean, these vessels stay at sea for years. Most of the fishing vessels don't go to harbors. They transfer their fish onto other vessels, they get refueled at sea, the, the crews are changed at sea, etc. So nobody sees what's happening ever. There's nobody, nobody to go there and tell them to respect the rules. It's, it's difficult to describe unless you've seen it. It's another world, it's a different planet. Illegal, unreported and unregulated fishing, or pirate fishing, has been identified as one of the most serious threats to the world's fish stocks. Pirate fishing vessels roam the seas, stealing fish, which frequently ends up on the European market and across the world. With limited capacity to patrol their waters, pirate fishing operators particularly target developing countries such as those in West Africa, leaving coastal communities that depend on fishing for food and income with next to nothing. The focus of the effects of pirate fishing has mostly been on the impacts on fish stocks, legitimate operators and artisanal fishers. Yet the exploitation of those working on these vessels has gone relatively unreported. Considered to be one of the most dangerous occupations in the world, life as a crew member aboard any fishing vessel is often difficult and hazardous. Harsh weather, long periods at sea, and often the catch itself make for a hard life. But these dangers are exacerbated for those working on vessels engaged in pirate fishing, as monitoring them is extremely difficult. These vessels operate for one purpose, to maximize their catch and minimize their costs, breaking all the laws and controls other vessels abide by. They use flags of convenience, illegal fishing gear, poorly maintained junk vessels, and vulnerable, untrained, and unsupported crews. Flags of convenience are a massive problem on our seas and oceans today. Why? Well, it's simple, because this is one of the best ways and means in which unscrupulous operators can avoid the controls and regulations that ensure sustainable fisheries, that ensure their crews are treated properly, the boats are managed properly, and that they abide by the same regulations that legitimate fishing operations abide by. Flags of convenience quite simply allow these operators to work outside of the law. And this means that they can do what they want, when they want, to whom they want. Licence fees aren't paid. The ships are poorly maintained. And most seriously, the minimum standards of crew treatment, sanitation and safety are not met. Avoiding regulatory laws regarding their catches, the ships also escape questioning over the conditions in which their crews are working, leaving them without protection. Not only is pirate fishing a major contributor to overfishing in West Africa, seriously undermining the sustainable management of their marine resources, it is also responsible for some of the worst, unreported human rights abuses at sea. With an estimated 30 million fishers working aboard 4 million legal and illegal fishing vessels, there is a clear need for international action 